Reverend Insanity. Chapter 351, Multitask Goo. The two dog groups were at a stalemate. At Fang Yuan's side, the blue color lightning symbol dog were at the main position, with the gray hedge dogs as support along with the orange chrysanthemum Akita dogs. As for the steel armor dog groups, it was a sea of black. Fang Yuan mobilized the big lightning symbol dog to the front, waving his hand and sending the dogs out to attack as the vanguard. Big steel armor dog barked upon seeing the big lightning symbol dog appear, it stepped into the battlefield as well. Beside it, the steel armor dog group followed closely behind, they were like a huge black cloud flying down from the mound, giving off a terrifying aura. The dog groups clashed together, Fang Yuan had a limited number of vanguards, quickly engulfed by the huge number of steel armor dogs. But because of the big lightning symbol dog's existence, the steel armor dog group could not take them down so easily. The big lightning symbol dog was after all a hundred beast king, under the attack of the dog group, it was able to handle them left and right, putting up a brave fight. Ordinary steel armor dogs were not its match. Woof, the big steel armor dog stepped out, finally stopping the assault of the big lightning symbol dog. Only a hundred beast king could stop a hundred beast king. As the intense battle continued, big lightning symbol dog started to weaken. It had just undergone a battle earlier, and there was still injuries on it, causing its battle strength to be lower than usual. Furthermore, its specialty was speed, but it was going head-to-head -head with the big steel armor dog who specialized in defense, it obviously had the disadvantage. Fang Yuan saw this and sent his dog group over. The new troops flowed in like a river, entering the battle causing chaos but the enemy was the steel armor dogs, experts at defense, most adept at such battles. Although Fang Yuan sent out his army and only left a few dog guards behind to protect himself, he could not change the situation. Be it the Hundred Beast King battle or the dog group battle, he was at a disadvantage. But Fang Yuan was not worried. The truth is, this was what he wanted all along. He was waiting waiting for the weapon which suppressed the steel armor dogs to appear. Woof! Big lightning symbol dog could not block the attack of the big steel armor dog and suddenly barked, shooting out a mouthful of blue plasma. Rank 2 Plasma Goo, this is it. Fang Yuan's eyes shone brightly as his lips curled up. Steel armor dog group gathered at their dog king, attacking the big lightning symbol dog while enduring the attacks of Fang Yuan's dog group, causing them to be closely packed together like the shape of a black bucket. Blue plasma landed on the ground, splattering. Large amounts of plasma landed on the steel armor dogs, causing their bodies to vibrate as they cried. Not only did their battle strength fall, the formation of the entire dog group was broken and heavily obstructed. The armor on the steel armor dogs were of metallic element. Although the steel gave them superior defenses, it also made them unable to resist the power of electricity. The attack power of plasma goo was not high, but once used on the steel armor dogs, it was a formidable move. The big lightning symbol dog shot out plasma continuously as plasma covered the entire battlefield, heavily weakening the battle strength of the steel armor dogs. The firm steel-like formation had collapsed under the effects of plasma goo. Fang Yuan saw an opportunity and commanded the dogs to charge. The dog group outside worked together with the big lightning symbol dog in the middle, unleashing a high offensive power. If one watched from the sky, they would see that the large black area was first eroded by blue color before being devoured by the surrounding blend of colors. Black continued to reduce while blue, yellow, and gray overtook them and dominated the field. The situation changed quickly soon, Fang Yuan regained his control, killing most of the steel armor dogs and encircling the big steel armor dog in the middle. Feeling danger, the goo worm on the big steel armor dog started to work. Big steel armor dog gained more strength, while black spikes grew out of its body. Fifteen minutes later, the big steel armor dog's throat was torn by the big lightning symbol dog and fell indignantly. Its blood flowed on the ground, but it did not get up anymore. The battle ended. 
As for the two goo worms on the big steel armor dog, one was destroyed during the battle, while the other flew away. Fang Yuan's expression was grim. In order to kill this hundred beast king, he paid a huge price. He only had half of his dog group left, and it would be a problem for his remaining battles. After twenty rounds, beast kings would appear. With the beast king, the dog groups would display greater battle strength, at the same time, the Beast King itself was a huge threat. The more goo worms on its body, the stronger it is, and the worse the situation would be for the goo master fighting it. Fang Yuan's luck was bad this time, the big steel armor dog he encountered this time had two goo. Especially when one of the goo was good at attack and defense, causing Fang Yuan to suffer great losses. One's own luck matters when challenging the Three Kings' inheritance. The steel armor dog group was Fang Yuan's best choice this time, but his luck was not as good. A rank 2 dog enslavement goo fell from above, as his prize for winning. Fang Yuan did not use the spring autumn cicada. He instantly refined the goo with the help of the heavenly power. This goo is the key to getting past the next round. With such a resolution, Fang Yuan stepped into the fog. Left, center, right, there were light shadows at all three directions. They were a large number of corpse dogs, a certain number of yin dogs, and a huge number of hyenas. Fang Yuan's eyes glowed as he analyzed. This time, his strength was limited, thus he had to choose wisely, fighting a weak enemy while thinking of the reward of winning. If I defeat the corpse dog group, I get a white silver relic goo. Killing the yin dogs give me a two tasks at once goo. White silver relic goo was no use to Fang Yuan. At this stage, only yellow gold relic goo had an attraction to him. But unfortunately, yellow gold relic goo was heavily controlled even in Shang Clan City. Rank 4 goo masters were experts in the mortal goo master realm. One yellow gold relic goo could affect the battle strength among rank 4 goo masters greatly. In the market, white silver relic goo was sold normally, while yellow gold relic goo were extremely rare, often held in the hands of the higher-ups. Fang Yuan knew super clans like Shang Clan had lots of yellow gold relic goo in their inventory. But even with the purple thorn token, he could not get them. Shang Yan Fei held these yellow gold relic goo in his hand, refusing to let them enter the market. This was a secret temptation. If Fang Yuan truly joined Shang Clan, the yellow gold relic goo would be a form of reward. Shang Yan Fei's brilliance was not something a commoner could understand. Fang Yuan did not want to compete with him in wits and strength just for a yellow gold relic goo and cause his own plans to be stalled. In the Three Kings Inheritance, there are yellow gold relic goo. But only after the 40th round, if I can get one, the situation would improve greatly. Fang Yuan had desire towards the yellow gold relic goo, but he knew whether he could get one was all attributed to his own luck. He could not force this. As for the two tasks at once goo, it could allow the goo master to split his mind into two and was extremely effective in manipulating worm or beast armies. Fang Yuan himself could do four tasks at once. If he added in this goo, he would be able to do six tasks at once. Two tasks at once goo is only a rank two goo. Going higher, there are three tasks at once, four tasks at once, five tasks at once, and so on. Multitask goo is the most important tool for an enslavement path goo master. Hmm, wait, this is? Fang Yuan looked at the right. After the hyenas disappeared, it showed a token. An ordinary reward is an enslavement path goo. But this reward was slightly special. It was an ordinary-looking token. The token was rough and had an irregular shape like it was casually molded into shape by someone. On the surface, there was the carving of Sancha Mountain, but this map was extremely casual and ugly, giving a strong feeling of half-heartedness. With one glance, one can easily tell that the person who made this token did not put in any effort, only doing it out of necessity. But once Fang Yuan saw this token, his eyes lit up. King Quan Travel Token, he immediately forgot about the white silver relic goo, two tasks at once goo. What luck to have encountered this token, I must get it. Fang Yuan had a determined mind, 
He had to get this token at all costs. Although this token looked worthless, it was one of the best items. Right now, no one knew its worth yet, but Fang Yuan knew clearly, towards the end of the Three Kings' inheritance in his previous life, the price of such a token was as high as a rank 4 Gu. But this hyena pack is huge, and there are two dog kings. If I choose this path, the risks are huge. The best scenario is that I enslave one of the two big hyenas during battle. But even so, if I win this battle, I would suffer huge losses and would lose the ability to advance further. Fang Yuan had a clear understanding of his own strength. The advantage of experience was shown here, it allowed him to clearly know the advantages and disadvantages of every choice. Fang Yuan thought about it and decided to take a risk. Since he walked on the demonic path, he had to take risks. By taking the extreme path, he would gain the biggest profits. Having no regrets after every choice, this was truly being alive. Four hours later, an intense battle ended. On and below the mound, there were dog corpses everywhere. Fresh blood flowed as limbs decorated the ground. Fang Yuan stood on the mound, slightly injured. In this Gu immortal blessed land, he could not use his Gu, causing him to be extremely weakened. But I won anyway, Fang Yuan looked at his surroundings, only a dozen or so dogs were left, as he sighed deeply. Losing almost all the dogs that he had, there was no longer any hope of advancing in this cruel demonic inheritance. But Fang Yuan had the last bit of hope in his mind. The heavenly power descended, sending him into the fog once again. If I encounter Bai Ning Bing, by borrowing her strength, I would be able to continue. But Fang Yuan was to be disappointed. All three directions led to dog groups. If he did not have the travel token, Fang Yuan would definitely die. He took out the travel token. Grasping it tightly, he bit the tip of his tongue and spit out some blood. The blood landed on the token and Fang Yuan opened his mouth, saying to the token softy, Woof! The token emitted a strong light as it tore through space, dragging Fang Yuan with it. In the silent fog, there was no one left. Chapter 352 Casually Killed Mountain winds gently blew. In an ordinary bamboo forest in the middle of Sancha Mountain, the space suddenly shattered and light burst out. The light flickered away instantly. In a bush where there had been no one before, a person appeared. It was a youth with black hair, black pupils, and a calm face. He was holding a token, it was Fang Yuan. I have exited King Quan inheritance. Fang Yuan had only felt his eyes blur for a moment, and the next moment, he was at a strange place. He looked around, confirming there was no danger around him, and that he was somewhere around the middle of Sancha Mountain. According to his initial estimation, he was now at the northern side of Sancha Mountain, while the cave he had occupied with Bai Ning Bing was on the southeast side. He raised his head and looked at the peak. Sancha Mountain possessed three peaks which stood high in the clouds like three equal spear tips. The light pillars on the peaks were gradually dying down. The yellow light pillar represented the entrance to King Quan inheritance, the blue light pillar was King Xin inheritance, and the red light pillar was King Bao inheritance. The size of the light pillars had already decreased by around half compared to when Fang Yuan had just entered. With the passing of time, the number of Gu masters that entered the inheritances increased, while the light pillars would continue to become small till it completely disappeared. At that time, the entrances to the three inheritances would be closed. After another round of waiting, the light pillars would activate again and bring in a new round of carnage. Fang Yuan looked at the token in his hand. On the surface of this unsightly King Quan token, there were now several deep cracks. Fang Yuan was not surprised. King Quan travel token could be used for three times at most. After three uses, the token would completely crack into pieces and could not be used anymore. However, these three chances for retreating were extremely precious. This was not only a chance to survive, the even more important thing was the Gu Master would have a psychological superiority and could choose their paths more freely. Fang Yuan stored this travel token carefully and hurried towards his cave. Ah, it is Fang Zheng. Little Beast King has finally appeared. 
On the whole way, Fang Yuan ran into many Gu masters. Regardless of righteous path or demonic path, they all casted a strange and amazed look at him. What happened? Fang Yuan frowned. He keenly sensed that something rather important had happened. Halfway to his cave, he casually grabbed someone and questioned. It turns out Bai Ning Bing killed a Tai clan Gu master in King Quan inheritance. After she came out of the inheritance, she was immediately discovered by Tai clan. Tai clan Gu masters surrounded the cave and trapped Bai Ning Bing. Four rank four middle stage Gu masters moved at the same time and used iron cabinet Gu to lock down the nearby area. Bai Ning Bing could not force her way through it and was now being attacked continuously by Tai clan Gu masters. Lord Little Beast King, this matter has been made a big deal and the whole Sansha Mountain knows about it. This is no longer a matter of personal hatred, but it represents the battle between the righteous path and us demonic path. Actually, everyone is waiting for you. Lord, if you act, those Tai clan Gu masters won't be able to block you. You are our demonic path's genius, our demonic path's flag. Lord, I have said everything there is to say, can I take my leave now? That unlucky guy grabbed by Fang Yuan begged in a sobbing voice. Such a big thing happened, Fang Yuan slightly furrowed his brows while holding the unfortunate guy by the collar. Although this news could startle anyone when they first hear it, it was not beyond Fang Yuan's anticipation. There were naturally going to be conflicts as they moved through the Three Kings' inheritance. This was a demonic path inheritance, the competition was extremely cruel. Sometimes, even if one wanted to retreat, they could not. Tai clan has rust flower goo. This goo is stored in the souls of Tai clansmen. Whoever kills Tai clansmen would be stained with this formless fragrance. It is not surprising Bai Ningbing was found out. Fang Yuan nodded while mumbling to himself. Lord, you are truly knowledgeable, you are extremely right. Lord, you don't know that your disappearance these few days caused everyone on Sancha Mountain to comment and say you are an ostrich and are afraid of being involved with a top clan like Tai clan. Do I not know what kind of person Lord is? Lord, you are the one I admire the most. Since you arrived at Sancha Mountain, you have killed the tyrant, Fei Lai and Sky Tiger. Is there anyone who do not know of your fame and reputation? You definitely have some reason that the outsiders don't need to know. Right now, if you act, those Thai clansmen will definitely wet their pants in fear and implore Lord to let them off. Fang Yuan had great strength, and as he grabbed this unlucky guy's collar, the unlucky guy was having trouble breathing and his face was becoming purplish. However, for survival, this Gu master talked non-stop flattering from start to end, showing his immense will to survive. Fang Yuan fell silent, and only after a long while did he slowly speak, You are right. He loosened his hand. This rank two Gu master immediately flushed with joy. What kind of person is Lord? Any discerning person would be clear of it. Lord is absolutely a great hero, great warrior, those slandering Lord are bastards, they are all blind. Lord, I have always supported you and argued with others for you. Hee <laughs> hee. Fang Yuan suddenly laughed coldly. His hand moved like lightning like an eagle's claws as he suddenly pinched this rank two Gu Master's neck. Crack! The Gu Master's eyes quickly widened, the spinal bone on his neck was completely crushed by Fang Yuan, and he lost his life on the spot. Gasp! Upon seeing this, the Gu Masters observing from the shadows drew in a cold breath sharply. Fang Yuan was an influential figure, and because of Bai Ning Bing's matter, the moment he appeared, his tracks were revealed and his every movement was watched by many. Fang Yuan killed this person and immediately searched his body. Unfortunately, whether it was on him or his aperture, all the Gu Worms had self-destructed. Fang Yuan attacked extremely fast, but how could it be faster than a person's thought? The speed a person could send a thought was as fast as a jolt of electricity, even a blink of an eye could not match 1% of its speed. In the outside world, the probability of getting goo worms as the spoils of battle against goo masters was quite low. 
It was not like at Three Kings Inheritance with the Heavenly Powers restriction where Gu at rank 5 and below could not self-destruct. Seeing Fang Yuan's skilled body searching method, the many Gu masters observing from the darkness felt the chill intensify further in their spine. Such skillfulness, how many people has he killed? Fang Zheng does not let even rank 2 Gu worms go, he is clearly a rank 4, we can see how greedy his nature is. Fang Zheng is extremely addicted to killing. That Gu master was clearly begging him and was of no threat to him, but he still did not let him go. Have you guys seen enough? If you have, then screw off. Fang Yuan stood arrogantly and shouted while looking around him with a fierce gaze. Soon after, human figures emerged from the lush bushes, trees, creeks, and from under the soil and stones. These figures quickly retreated and disappeared within seconds. The area around Fang Yuan had once again regained peacefulness. It was really difficult to imagine that there were so many people hiding. Fang Yuan had a great reputation for his violence now. He killed three rank four demonic Gu masters in a row. He got things done by hook or by crook. He was despicable and cold-blooded and was fiercely addicted to killing. These people had their courage broken by Fang Yuan's one simple sentence and did not dare to linger around Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan snorted and looked around him once again before proudly leaving this place. But he knew he was still being monitored from within the darkness. The ones scared off by him were all shrimps. The remaining ones were all unique, with the capital to be confident. Fang Yuan was not concerned about them and strutted out of this place. In truth, although he had outstanding battle prowess now, he still had a weakness in the investigative aspect. Moreover, these Gu masters who were secretly following and monitoring him were sure to also be experts at speed. Even if Fang Yuan discovered them, he only had charging crash Gu, and it would be fairly difficult for him to chase them. Where is he going? This direction is not towards the area where Binding Bing is trapped. Did he discover me? Just now when he looked around, my heart skipped a beat. Is Little Beast King afraid? Wait a moment, this cave seems to be Lai Zion's residence. These Gu masters followed after Fang Yuan cautiously. They were all inwardly surprised when they saw Fang Yuan stop in front of a cave. His partner, the inseparable white demon Bai Ning Bing was trapped, but Little Beast King did not seem to be the least bit anxious. Instead, he walked towards Lai Zion's residence. Lai Zion was a demonic path Gu master at rank 4 upper stage. He was cunning and never suffered losses, a troublesome character. Could it be Little Beast King was looking to find trouble for Lai Zion? The Gu masters following Fang Yuan secretly made guesses. Fang Yuan's arrival immediately attracted Lai Zion's attention. Lai Zion was already near his cave setting up detecting methods. Lord Little Beast King, truly a rare guest, you came to my place, what can I do for you? Lai Zion took the initiative to greet Fang Yuan, he approached Fang Yuan and cupped his fists as a greeting at a distance of twenty steps. He did not dare to be too close to Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was a temperamental ruffian. Lai Zion, this unscrupulous merchant, was also on edge when facing him. Fang Yuan's visit was beyond his expectation. Who knew what Fang Yuan, this lunatic, cunning and shameless guy, would do next? Thus, Lai Zion appeared calm on the surface and was full of smiles, but he was already extremely vigilant. I came to you naturally for business. What's wrong, are you not going to invite me in? Fang Yuan smiled with an indistinct gaze. Since you are a customer, I will of course welcome you. Please come in, come in. Lai Zion's gaze flashed, and he moved aside, letting Fang Yuan enter first. Fang Yuan strutted past him and glanced at Lai Zion. Lai Zion smiled and walked alongside Fang Yuan into his cave. They have gone inside. I can't follow them anymore. There are investigative goo installed around the cave. If I trespass, I will definitely be treated as an enemy by Lai Zion. Is Little Beast King really going to make a deal? Why do I feel Lai Zion is out of luck this time? I can already predict the scene of the explosive and tremendous battle between the two. 
Lai Zion is at rank 4 upper stage, he definitely has many trump cards. If a fight erupts, it is sure to be a battle of dragon and tiger. Outside the cave, the group of Goo Masters could only stop and stretch their necks to look at the dark cave. Chapter 353 Thunder Boar Rock Crocodile Inside the Cave Lai Zion asked Fang Yuan to take a seat and then sat beside him. Please have some tea. Lai Zion stretched his short and thick fingers, his hand opened up and a fragrant tea appeared on his open palm. Fang Yuan looked at the tea but did not accept it or even budged, instead he sighed. Eastern Sea's blue sky goo is really handy. Not only does it have a large capacity, far surpassing others of the same level, it is also easy and convenient to use. Eh? I didn't expect Sir Little Beast King to recognize this goo. Lai Zion's gaze slightly flickered. He was not from southern border, but came drifting to hear from Eastern Sea. Blue Sky Goo was a goo unique to Eastern Sea and was very uncommon at that. When Lai Zion had dealings with other people, he frequently used this goo to show his methods. Southern border goo masters did not recognize this goo, and when they saw such a method for the first time, they would often look more highly at Lai Zion. Feng Yuan smiled and slowly said, This rank 4 blue sky goo is fused from rank 3 sky granary goo. The success rate is quite low so it is rare even in Eastern Sea. If blue sky goo is to be advanced to rank 5, the best method is to fuse it with sky well goo to form rank 5 blue sky well goo. And this sky well goo is a natural goo found only in Eastern Sea's Tianjin Island. Lai Zion, if you want to advance it, it will be troublesome. Here in southern border, only Yi clan might have Sky Well Gu. Qi clan along with Shang clan, Wu clan and Tai clan was a top clan and had very close relation to Eastern Sea's forces. Yi clan's businesses are very prosperous, second only to Shang clan. Their flying blue whale caravan could move through the sky, which even Shang clan did not have. Blue Sky Gu, Sky Well Gu, Blue Sky Well Gu and Tianjing Island. How does Little Beast King know it so clearly? Lai Zion was startled and suspicious when he heard Fang Yuan's words. The world of Gu Masters was extremely vast. There were also barriers that acted like heavenly chasm between southern border, northern plains, eastern seas, western desert and central continent. It was very difficult to communicate with each other and news were also blocked. Lai Zion had already investigated all details on Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was born in southern border and he was so young, how could he have such experiences? Even knowing detailed information about Eastern Sea, a vague pressure started to form in Lai Zion's mind. Strange, strange, what is the origin of this little beast king? How could he know so much? Could there be an expert behind him? With his age and experience, how could he know such details? Oh yeah, he stayed for quite a while at Shang Clan City and might have received guidance from Shang Yan Fei. Shang Yan Fei is Shang Clan leader, a rank 5 upper stage Gu master, an expert at the peak of the mortal world. It is not strange for Little Beast King to know these under his guidance. Lai Zion's gaze continually flickered, his heart covered with haze of doubts. His whole body was in a stiff position and his palm was still holding the purple clay teapot. No, suddenly, his thoughts flashed like lightning as he thought of the main thing. I originally wanted to display my methods and pressure him down. To think I became overly suspicious and my mind became uneasy just from Little Beast King's several words. Even if he has Shang Yan Fei behind him, so what? Others might be afraid, but I, Lai Zion, have my own means, HMPH. Lai Zion softly snorted and placed the teapot on the table. He took this chance to calm his mind. He was, after all, an elite of the demonic path and adjusted his mind in just few breaths' time. He then faced Fang Yuan calmly. It was just that there were some cautiousness and graveness in his eyes now. Sir Little Beast King, please taste the tea. What transaction do you want to make with me? Lai Zion asked. You don't need to think much, it is only a simple transaction. 
Fang Yuan said, then took out some goo worms from his aperture and showed to Lai Zian. These goo worms were the loot he seized from the goo masters he killed in King Quan inheritance. There were rank 3 and rank 4 goo, but they were not suitable for Fang Yuan's strength path. Lai Zian could not help narrowing his eyes when he saw these goo. He was a very shrewd person and immediately realized many things. Who would have expected this little beast king to also have some accomplishments in enslavement path? After entering King Quan inheritance, he killed two Gu masters. Such talent is truly demonic. Lai Zion could not help but think of Mo Wutian. After he came to southern border, he had walked on the demonic path for a long time, coming into contact with all sorts of people. He felt that just based on aptitude, talent, and temperament, among the younger generation of the demonic path, Mo Wu Tian was at the top. However now, he realized the little beast king in front of him had a talent that was not inferior to Mo Wu Tian's. Little beast king and Mo Wu Tian, I wonder what will happen if these two came across each other. It is just that the current little beast king's cultivation is somewhat weak, Mo Wu Tian is older than him and is already rank 4 peak stage. Lai Zian pondered, he spoke excitedly however. Sir Little Beast King, you did the right thing finding me for this transaction. I have a goo on me which I believe will be important to Sir. Oh, Fang Yuan raised his brows. Lai Zian spread out his palm and a ball suddenly appeared. This ball looked nice, shining with white gold light. Fang Yuan carefully looked at it and saw that the ball was an ant ball, over a hundred flying ants crawling on each other and sticking together to form a ball. These flying ants did not look any different from normal ants, except they were several times larger and they had a pair of transparent wings on their back. This is rank 3 gold eating flying ant goo altogether. There are 120. Those several old fellows from Tai Clan trapped Lord White Demon by using Iron Cabinet Goo along with Kai Flow Goo. Now the thousand feet around that area has been locked down. However, the Iron Cabinet Goo will collapse easily against this group of flying ants. Sir Little Beast King, I have just calculated, the price of your goo is just good enough to buy this group of flying ants. Lai Zion smiled warmly. However, beyond his expectation, Fang Yuan only glanced at this gold-consuming flying ant goo once before shifting his gaze. Who said I am going to buy this thing? This is the list of items, I want all the things written on it. Lai Zion accepted the list and glanced at it. There were many goo worms and numerous supplementary materials for refining goo written on it. Although there were all kinds of items on the list, with Lai Zion's experience and shrewdness, it was not difficult for him to see these things were all necessary for strength path. Bai Ning Bing has been trapped by Tai Clan, how come this little beast king is not in the least bit worried? Strange, it won't be easy for him to get rid of Iron Cabinet Goo with just the strength path goo on him. Does he have some special methods? Or maybe the items on this list is to refine the nemesis of Iron Cabinet Goo? Lai Zion narrowed his eyes, a bright light flashed past the slit of his eyes. He probed, Sir Little Beast King, there are all sorts of things on this list, I cannot bring them out in a short while. Moreover, their total price far surpassed the price of these goo you are selling. No problem, no problem. Fang Yuan waved his hand, I want to buy all the items on this list. Give me whatever you have currently. As for the others, I will have to trouble you to pay attention to them. Money is not a problem. Fang Yuan had a lot of primeval stones on him, his financial resources were adequate enough. Lai Zion laughed, he could not probe out anything so he only nodded and agreed. Inside a cave, lights flickered. Fang Yuan was sitting cross-legged on the ground, his whole attention on ball of paste in front of him. This paste was multicolored and was floating in the air, rolling and churning continually, and gave out a strange fragrance the goo fusion process had reached the critical stage. Fang Yuan constantly threw in primeval stones. Primeval stones entered the paste and immediately dissolved into essence liquid, diluting the thick paste. Fang Yuan continued to throw in primeval stones without care, 
Only after the paste thinned to a certain degree did he stop. Then he quickly took out a thunderclap goo. Thunderclap goo was a rank three goo. The paste swallowed it up and immediately flickered lightning. In a split second, the fragrance in the air was magnified greatly. The multicolored light dispersed and was replaced with abundant blue light. The lightning produced soft crackling sounds like the combustion of tiny firecrackers. Fang Yuan's breathing accelerated, and when he smelled a burnt smell in the air, his eyes shone with bright light. It is time, all-out effort goo. Boar Phantom immediately appeared above him. Strength Kai Goo. Fang Yuan activated Strength Kai Goo. The Boar Phantom adhered to the formless Strength Kai, immediately become very menacing. Under Fang Yuan's will, the Boar Phantom flew towards the paste. The instance the two collided, lightning burst out and shone upon the whole cave, dispersing all the darkness and revealing all the details in the room clearly. After the light dispersed, the boar phantom in mid-air had experienced a huge change. The new boar phantom was twice the original size, its tusks were like that of an elephant's, and its whole body was covered with white fur. Especially the fur at its back, they were thick and long, lined up in rows, stiffly pointing towards the sky, and lightning curled up on them. Lightning Boar Phantom. Success, great. Thunder Boar is equal to Dragon Elephant, Bio and Mastiff. With the Thunder Boar strength, my battle strength has increased again. Next it is the Rock Crocodile strength. A night of cultivation unknowingly passed. When the light of dawn shone upon Sanchao Mountain, Fang Yuan walked out of the cave he stayed at. Although he was exhausted, he was happy inside. He successfully upgraded boar strength and crocodile strength to thunder boar strength and rock crocodile strength. His battle strength was raised by at least 30%. By Ning Bing, he looked towards the southeast direction. An area on the middle of the mountain was covered with a dark purple Kai barrier. The Kai barrier was like a tall tower, sealing the space within and isolating it from the outside world. The combination of iron cabinet goo and Kai flow goo caused Bai Ning Bing to become a trapped beast of Tai clan. Fang Yuan let out a cold snort. The situation looked simple, but it was a tricky matter. The four old timers of Tai clan who trapped Bai Ning Bing were all at rank 4 middle stage. Although Bai Ning Bing was a genius, she was only at rank 4 initial stage. If the Tai clan was truly set on capturing Bai Ning Bing, they would have already captured her, but they did not. On one hand, it was to maintain their strength to fight for three kings' inheritance. On another hand, it was because they were held back by the purple thorn token on Bai Ning Bing. Finally, it was to bait Fang Yuan. In case Fang Yuan rashly charged in, Tai Clan's four old-timers could combine their strength to activate the rank 5 search and lock Gu to easily suppress him and Bai Ning Bing. In Fang Yuan's previous life, Tai Clan's four old-timers had used this killer move to capture demonic paths Kong Rai Tian. But soon after, they were killed by a rank 3 Gu master. Rank 5 Search and Lock Gu had an extremely huge demand towards primeval essence. Tai Clan's four old-timers were really tragic figures, they cultivated the killer move for so many years and finally were in the limelight. But the scene did not last long because they lacked primeval essence and were killed by a Rank 3 Gu Master. Chapter 354 Ancient Bronze Skin Gu Dark purple Kai barrier was like a high tower firmly locking in thousand meters of area. The Kai barrier, however, did not isolate sight. Who knew how many eyes were secretly watching the scene from outside the barrier? Bai Ning Bing, just let yourself be captured obediently. It is impossible for you to escape. Tai clan's four old timers occupied east, south, west, and north positions separately, locking Bai Ning Bing in the center. Bai Ning Bing was sitting cross-legged on a boulder, her two hands holding primeval stones as she replenished her primeval essence. Bai Ning Bing, don't hold any delusions. You killed our Tai clansmen and still thinking you will be able to escape, HMPH. The four old-timers' gazes were grave and started fixedly at Bai Ning Bing, encircling her with no gaps. Bai Ning Bing slowly opened her narrowed eyes, her eyes were calm and her tone was indifferent. 
Tai clans four old timers, what use is it in speaking so much? If you want to capture and kill me, then bring it on. Even if I, Bai Ningbing, die at your hands, I will definitely take a few of you down. She paused for a while before continuing. You have been continuously maintaining this Kai barrier, it should have consumed a lot of your primeval essence, right? Hee <laughs> hee, I know you four are experts at team battle tactics while I am only at rank 4 initial stage. But you can bet on it that if you killed me, even if you guys don't die, you will definitely be heavily injured. And in case my partner appears, what will become of you then? You, the four old-timers of Tai Clan, were exasperated. Bai Ningbing might have borrowed Fang Yuan's name, but it struck their weak spot. Bai Ningbing, stop being stubborn. Here, let me see what you can do. One of the old timers stood up. Ha <laughs> ha. Bai Ningbing softly smiled and slowly stood up to take the challenge. Silver hair and snow white clothes, with a grace that stood out from the crowd, even if she was trapped, she was still calm, a confident bearing that showed she had no worries about this life and death situation. The two began their fight. Sand and pebbles started flying inside the Kai barrier, snow lights spread everywhere, and the clash of steel resounded. Far away on a short mountain peak stood a group of Shang clan Gu masters. Another round of battle has begun again. This Bai Ningbing is worthy of her fame in the battle stage. She is able to resist the four rank four middle stage Gu masters attacking her in turns, she is not simple, one of them sighed. Bai Ningbing has outstanding battle sense, she is indeed strong. But another reason is because the four old timers from Tai Clan do not dare to use all their strength. Someone analyzed. That's right. The old timers are worried and afraid of the counterattack from Bai Ningbing when she is near death. They are good at team battle tactics, and their individual strength aren't as fearsome as the Gu masters at the same level. If they become short of a member, their whole strength will fall sharply, and it will be difficult for them to contend for the Three Kings' inheritance. What I am worried about now is Bai Ningbing has Purple Thorn token. If she takes it out, do we make a move? Don't do anything for now. I have already sent the message, and the clan has already sent a strong reinforcement. Elder Yi Huo is rushing here. Hearing this information, Shang Clan's Gu Masters roused their spirits. Yi Huo was not an ordinary Gu Master, he was one of the five great elders of Shang Clan with a cultivation of rank 4 peak stage. He was one of the experts under Shang Yanfei, now that he was dispatched, it was sure to change the situation of the entire Sancha Mountain. To think the things turned out this way. If Bai Ningbing is killed by Tai Clan, our deal with Shang Clan will fall through. In an underbrush, Meng Tu observed the battle inside the Kai barrier with glowing eyes and said with a worried tone. He was at the prime of his life and was at rank 3 peak stage, the same as his partner Jiao Huang. These two were famous assassins in Daemonic Path, some time back even the rank 4 middle stage righteous path Xiao Fu Lu died at their hands. They accepted a mission from Shang Clan, if they could kill Fang and Bai, they would be allowed to join Shang Clan. They had already made their move on Huo Tan Mountain, but the lava crocodile group they attracted did not pose any problems to Fang and Bai. The two did not give up and continued to follow Fang and Bai to Sancha Mountain, waiting for an opportunity ever since. Psy, what can we do? We are good at assassinations and not at frontal attacks. If we move in front of everyone, our success rate will be too low. If Bai Ningbing dies, we also can't do anything about it. We can only leave it up to fate. The old man Jiao Huang said with a sigh. Yes, who knows how many are watching from the darkness. Who is to say we haven't been discovered while coming here? Meng Tu powerlessly added. They were assassin Gu masters and paid particular attention to concealment. It was okay if they did not make a move, but once they made, it must be a fatal strike. Before making their move, they made went through meticulous planning and made large numbers of preparation before bursting out all at once. If the success rate was too low, they would not make a move and would rather give up the deal. 
This was also the reason they were able to survive while roaming in demonic path for such a long time. Every well-known goo master had their own unique ways for survival. Hehe, <laughs> these four old-timers of Tai clan are in such an awkward state. Lai Zion stood in front of the Kai barrier and looked at the battle inside. His eyes narrowed and were filled with joy towards others' misfortune. Although this place had already become a focus of many gazes at Sancha Mountain, Lai Zion did not care. He was very confident that he would absolutely not be exposed by others. This confidence came from his rank 5 Gu Invisibility Gu. Gu worms at rank 5 were rare. Many rank 5 Gu masters would only have one or two rank 5 Gu on them for many years. Invisibility Gu could only be detected by specific rank 5 investigative Gu. However, it had not been long since Three Kings Inheritance opened, and there has yet to be anyone who had broken through the middle rounds, so it was not likely to attract rank 5 Gu Masters to make a move. Lai Zion had his own fortuitous encounters to possess the scarce rank 5 Gu when he was rank 4. This Iron Cabinet Gu recipe was created by Tai Clan's Refinement Path Master Tai Yi Ban. His original intention was to refine a type of firm and secure storage goo. After he refined this goo for the first time, he gave it to Tai Zhu Leng to test out. The divine investigator used it to capture people, and it was very durable. When supplemented with Kai Flow goo, its effect was amplified. From then on, Iron Cabinet goo had become an efficient mean for Tai Clan to capture demonic goo masters. He <laughs> he. But now, these Thai clan's old-timers have to maintain both Thai cabinet goo and Kai flow goo, unable to execute their team attacks. If the four attack together, this purple Kai barrier will disappear. Without any obstruction, Bai Ningbing can run free, and they will lose a lot of reputation. Ha ha ha, interesting interesting. These old-timers have no way out. Lai Zion looked at the show, the corner of his lips could not help but curl up. But when he thought of someone, the smile on his face slowly disappeared. Little Beast King, he actually didn't come to rescue. Did he realize the truth behind this tricky situation, or is he truly so cold-blooded and decided to abandon Bai Ning Bing? No matter which it is, it all proves how scary this person is. I should hand that goo over to him. A goo was handed over to Fang Yuan. Its appearance was like that of a bedbug, flat and wide, its head was quite small, and its body looked oval-shaped. Its whole body was yellow-orange and gave off a metallic luster like a bronze. People called it Ancient Bronze Skin Goo. Bronze Skin Goo was a series goo from rank 1 to rank 3. But if it were to advance to rank 4, it would be Ancient Bronze Skin Goo whose defensive power was much stronger than rank 3 Bronze Skin Goo. Lai Zion, you are worthy of being a famous merchant of the demonic path. You could get me ancient bronze skin goo this quick, it was really a correct decision to make the transaction with you. I don't have tea here, please have some wine. Fang Yuan's tone was polite and his face appeared gentle as he welcomed Lai Zion and poured him a cup of wine. No, no, it was nothing. It is my honor to be able to do business with Lord Little Beast King. Lai Zion appeared very modest, lowering his status. The two discussed for a while. The atmosphere was very harmonious. If someone who did not know about them saw this, they would think these two were good-natured and elegant. How would they think these two were two-faced, ruthless, demonic path goo masters? Lai Zion, you don't need to be so polite, you can simply call me Fang Zheng. Let me first give you 50,000 primeval stones, consider it a deposit for our future transactions. Fang Yuan brought out primeval elder Gu and waved his hand, bringing out 50,000 primeval stones. Primeval elder Gu appeared like a crystal ball, there were a lot of primeval stones stored in it, the old man in the clouds in the ball appeared to look very kind. Lai Zion looked at the wide smile on the old man's face, he could not help evaluating Fang Yuan much more highly. I will have to trouble you to help me with something. Fang Yuan suddenly spoke. Lai Zion's gaze flashed and immediately said, Please speak. Fang Yuan brought Lai Zion towards the depths of the cave and pointed to a stone vat. 
I have a stone vat here, but I lack a fire type goo. I will have to ask you to help me melt these bronze pieces and put them in the stone vat. Lai Zion let out a sigh of relief and smiled. I just so happen to have a fire type goo. It will only require a slight effort. The temperature inside the cave rapidly soared. After a while, Lai Zion melted the bronze pieces into metallic liquid. The stone vat was filled almost to the brink. Fang Yuan took out coal stones and piled them under stone vat to maintain the temperature. Then, under Lai Zion's astonished gaze, he softly jumped right into the vat. The boiling bronze liquid sizzled and immediately burned Fang Yuan's clothes. His whole body was soaked in the bronze liquid, and only his head was revealed outside. Little, Lord Little Beast King, what are you doing? Right now, Lai Zion could smell the odor of burning flesh. Fang Yuan activated the ancient bronze skin goo in his aperture while smiling with gritted teeth. Lai Zion, don't you know? There is a method to use this ancient bronze skin goo and accelerate the speed by 30%. That is to use it with bronze liquid. When ancient bronze skin goo was activated, it could remodel the skin and flesh of the goo master into ancient bronze skin. If it was used with the body soaking in bronze liquid, it could shorten the time required. Lai Zion had also heard of it, but he had never thought of this. When Fang Yuan was preparing these things, he had thought these were supplementary materials for refining goo. Because this method was extremely painful and cruel. Goo Master must come in touch with scalding, boiling bronze liquid without using any defensive means. Only a perverted masochist would choose this method. Is Little Beast King a masochist? Lai Zion kept on thinking of this question as he returned to his cave with a dazed expression. At this time, there was another person who was also thinking of Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan, why have you not appeared yet? Bai Ningbing sat cross-legged on the ground, her eyes half-narrowed as she faintly felt the situation was far from reassuring. We have used Poison Vao Gu. He absolutely cannot leave me in the lurch. But he still hasn't appeared now, could he still be inside the inheritance or maybe met with some trouble? Chapter 355 Yi Huo's Invitation A Gu Worm Floated Above Fang Yuan Fang Yuan's primeval sea slowly fell as he activated this goo. This goo was like a black bone, its two ends were round and smooth, with a thin body. It was emitting black rays of light while floating in the air. The black light shone upon Fang Yuan's body, passed through his skin and flesh, and brought changes in his skeleton. Fang Yuan had already used iron bone goo, his skeleton was pitch black and was firm like iron. But under the effect of this goo, his skeleton slowly became more firm. This was Essence Iron Bone Goo, a rank 4 goo. One could get iron bone goo by reverse refining it. Three days after handing over the ancient bronze skin goo, Lai Zion personally came to deliver this goo to Fang Yuan. Essence Iron Bone Goo could make Fang Yuan's skeleton even more firm and the effect was many times stronger than iron bone goo. But at the same time, the process needed much more time. Fang Yuan had been using Essence Iron Bone continually these days along with ancient bronze skin goo to temper his body. In this period, he was also using Nine Eyes Liquor Worm to purify his primeval essence, refining his initial stage light gold primeval essence into bright gold primeval essence. Then he used bright gold primeval essence to cleanse his aperture and strengthen its foundation. He made use of every minute and second, cultivating bitterly, and he could feel his strength increasing little by little every day. It has already been over a month since I left King Quan Inheritance. I am almost finished with using ancient bronze skin goo, but there is still quite a distance before I completely master essence iron bone goo. Unless I use universe path goo to accelerate the flow of time. Fang Yuan pondered. The so-called universe path was related to time. The goo masters of this path use time-related goo worms. Third Watch Goo and Spring Autumn Cicada belong to this category. In fact, there were far more Universe Path Goo than just these two. It had a full range of Goo from Rank 1 to Rank 5. 
normal goo masters if they did not have the patience to do this type of grinding work and wanted to speed their progress, they could ask Universe Path goo masters to help or use a Universe Path goo themselves to accelerate their time. But my situation is different from ordinary goo masters. I have spring autumn cicada, if I accelerate my time, spring autumn cicada's recovery speed will also increase and will be my death warrant. The time flow in Gu Immortal Blessed Land in Sancha Mountain was three times faster than the outside world. The time Fang Yuan spent in King Quan Inheritance had already caused spring autumn cicada to make some recovery, thus Fang Yuan could only patiently choose the method of bitter cultivation. Just as he was cultivating, there came an unfamiliar voice from outside the cave. Little Beast King, could you come out to have a chat? Fang Yuan walked out of the cave and saw the person clearly, he looked slightly doubtful. So it was Elder Yi Huo. Bi Huo was very handsome, sharp eyes, high bridged nose, and long red hair like it was on fire. He was a fire path Gu master who was very famous in southern border. People called him Blazing Inferno. His cultivation was rank 4 peak stage. Yi Huo is one of the five great elders of Shang clan, an expert under Shang Yan Fei and was ranked above light swordsman Wai Yang. The only one that could command him was Shang Yan Fei. His arrival was surely going to change the power balance of San Cha Mountain. Fang Yuan quickly thought about it and welcomed Yi Huo inside his cave. Little Beast King, my purpose in coming here is simple, it is to invite you to join our Shang clan. Yi Huo entered the cave, but he did not sit and directly expressed his purpose in coming. Join your Shang clan? Fang Yuan raised his brows, he could fully sense the swift and decisive nature of Blazing Inferno. Right. Yi Huo nodded, his eyes looking straight at Fang Yuan as he smiled. You and Bai Ningbing have stayed for some time at Shang Clan, you guys surely have deep understanding of our Shang Clan strength, so I won't say much on it. The main thing is your partner Bai Ningbing has been trapped by the four old-timers of Tai Clan for around two months now. As long as you two join Shang Clan, I will immediately set out and rescue Bai Ningbing. His tone was filled with confidence as if rescuing Bai Ningbing was an easy matter. When he spoke, he was slightly smiling. His handsome face was like a perfect statue, and when he revealed his teeth, it was dazzling like the sun. Many people would feel ashamed when interacting with him. Yi Huo and Wai Yang had a similar background, they both ruled Shang clan battle stage and were absolute geniuses. Among the five great elders of Shang clan, Yi Huo was the most popular and was also publicly recognized as the elder with the highest chance of advancing to rank 5. Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with a contemplative light. He was not surprised at Shang Clan sending Yi Huo here. Shang Clan had been in control of San Cha Mountain for a period of time before, but was later suppressed by Wu Clan. And with the appearance of demonic path experts, Shang Clan groups found it even more difficult to hold their heads up. Under this situation, Shang clan as a top clan would naturally send an expert to change the situation. In Fang Yuan's previous life memories, Yi Huo was dispatched here by Shang clan. He suppressed Wu Shen Tong and Yi Chong and defeated Kong Rai Tian and Long King Tian, being the ruler of San Cha Mountain for a time. But later, his dominance drove Long King Tian anxious. Long King Tian used blue halo goo and poisoned him. He had no choice but to return to Shang clan city to be treated by Dr. Su Shu. However, this time, Yi Huo came to San Cha Mountain to recruit him. This was beyond Fang Yuan's expectation. Lord Yi Huo, I wonder if this invitation came from Shang clan or it is your own thought. Fang Yuan's gaze flashed and asked, Ha ha ha, of course it is my own thought. Fong Jing, you created a lot of commotion at Shang clan battle stage and almost became the ruler of battle stage. I have been watching you, you are a genius. If you join Shang clan, it will be greatly beneficial to you. Yi Huo laughed loudly and replied. Fang Yuan smiled as the trace of doubt he had melted away. Sir Yi Huo, from what I know, Shang clan's external elders don't have the authority to recommend talents, right? 
External elder, this title made Yi Huo slightly furrow his brows. You are right. But if you can become the ruler of the battle stage, you can become an external elder of Shang clan. With your talent, I believe the title of the ruler of battle stage is just a matter of time for you. Fang Yuan could not help but scoff and did not reply. He Huo's brows furrowed deeper, this scoff sounded ear-piercing to him. He patiently said, Fang Zheng, I will tell you the truth. Before I came here, Lord Clan Leader made a promise to me. As long as I accomplish great accomplishments at San Cha Mountain and take control of the situation, I will be bestowed a surname when I return to Shang Clan City. At that time, I will no longer be Yi Huo, but Shang Huo. I will become a true elder of Shang Clan and I will have the authority to recommend talents. Eh? So it was like that. Fang Yuan clearly revealed a surprised expression. His gaze flickered and he sank into contemplation. Ri Huo waited for a long time, but after getting no response from Fang Yuan, his brows furrowed even deeper and he took the initiative to ask, have you thought it through? Fang Yuan shook his head. This matter is too significant, I need to consider it properly. Ni Huo's brows relaxed a little. Since that is so, then I will give you three days. I will come here again after three days, I hope to get a satisfactory reply then. All right. Fang Yuan nodded in agreement and accompanied Yi Huo out of the cave. Three days later. You still haven't thought it through? Yi Huo looked at Fang Yuan with some doubts. This is a serious matter, I really need to properly consider it. Fang Yuan answered with a heavy voice. All right, I will give you three more days. Fang Zheng, I think highly of you. Another three days later. Lord Yi Huo, I have thought over this matter over and again. I appreciate your good intent, but I still prefer the freedom of the demonic path. Fang Yuan sincerely replied. What? You thought for three days and this is your answer? Yi Huo's tone showed his fury. Lord Yi Huo, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Fang Yuan's gaze was profound and there was severity within his soft words. Yi Huo gritted his teeth and said with a deep voice, Fang Zheng, you need to think it clearly. The four old timers of Tai Clan are not easy opponents. If I don't help out, everything bodes ill for Bai Ning Bing. Besides this, Sky Tiger Zhu Sansi whom you killed is Century Boy's goddaughter. Century Boy has been watching you all this while, he is a woodpath Gu master at rank 4 upper stage and is a thorny character of demonic path. Eh? So it was like that. Fang Yuan showed hesitation, then, let me consider it again. Give me ten days of time to think it through. Ten days? Yi Huo immediately wrinkled his brows. Fine. He thought for a while and nodded, This is enough time for you to think everything through clearly. I believe you will make the most sensible choice. But I have to remind you that time cannot be dragged on further, your woman is in crisis. Anything can happen during this time. Yi Huo considered Bai Ningbing as Fang Yuan's woman, which Fang Yuan felt was quite laughable. Whether Bai Ning Bing died or not, it was not an especially important matter to him. Anyway, the poison Vao Gu was already destroyed, and he had also matured, reaching rank 4 initial stage. Saving Bai Ning Bing or not, it depended on his will. But if there was no Bai Ning Bing, Fang Yuan would become a lone force, and it would definitely create a negative influence on his plans at San Cha Mountain. There is no need to go save Bai Ning Bing urgently. I should still focus on cultivating and advance forward. I have already no need for the bone flesh unity goo. As for Bai Ning Bing, she can be outside for a while and attract the attention for me. I should take this chance to surpass her, it will be convenient for me to suppress her in future. And with so many eyes watching the situation, those four old foxes of Tai Clan absolutely won't move in for the kill. Fang Yuan saw the whole situation clearly. As for Yi Huo's invitation, he he. Ten days later. Lord Yi Huo, thank you for your good intention. These days I have pondered restlessly and from every angle, but I still feel that being free is the best. 
Fang Yuan wore an earnest expression as he said this. Gi Huo's expression naturally became unsightly. Fang Zheng, you have been doing this over and over again, are you playing with me? Lord Yi Huo, your words are not right. I have always been sincere with you. I understand your mood. But right now, the most important thing is Three Kings Inheritance. There is already not much time left before the next opening of the inheritance. With the mention of the opening of Three Kings Inheritance, Yi Huo could only suppress the anger in his heart. He took a deep look at Fang Yuan and left the cave Chapter 355, Yi Huo's Invitation. A goo worm floated above Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan's primeval sea slowly fell as he activated this goo. This goo was like a black bone, its two ends were round and smooth with a thin body. It was emitting black rays of light while floating in the air. The black light shone upon Fang Yuan's body, passed through his skin and flesh, and brought changes in his skeleton. Fang Yuan had already used iron bone goo. His skeleton was pitch black and was firm like iron. But under the effect of this goo, his skeleton slowly became more firm. This was Essence Iron Bone Goo, a rank 4 goo. One could get Iron Bone Goo by reverse refining it. Three days after handing over the ancient bronze skin goo, Lai Zion personally came to deliver this goo to Fang Yuan. Essence Iron Bone Goo could make Fang Yuan's skeleton even more firm and the effect was many times stronger than Iron Bone Goo. But at the same time, the process needed much more time. Fang Yuan had been using Essence Iron Bone continually these days along with Ancient Bronze Skin Goo to temper his body. In this period, he was also using Nine Eyes Liquor Worm to purify his primeval essence, refining his initial stage light gold primeval essence into bright gold primeval essence. Then he used bright gold primeval essence to cleanse his aperture and strengthen its foundation. He made use of every minute and second, cultivating bitterly, and he could feel his strength increasing little by little every day. It has already been over a month since I left King Quan Inheritance. I am almost finished with using ancient bronze skin goo, but there is still quite a distance before I completely master essence iron bone goo. Unless I use universe path goo to accelerate the flow of time. Fang Yuan pondered. The so-called universe path was related to time. The goo masters of this path use time-related goo worms. Third watch goo and spring autumn cicada belong to this category. In fact, there were far more universe path goo than just these two. It had a full range of goo from rank 1 to rank 5. Normal goo masters, if they did not have the patience to do this type of grinding work and wanted to speed their progress, they could ask Universe Path goo masters to help or use a Universe Path goo themselves to accelerate their time. But my situation is different from ordinary goo masters. I have Spring Autumn Cicada if I accelerate my time, Spring Autumn Cicada's recovery speed will also increase and will be my death warrant. The time flow in Gu Immortal Blessed Land in Sancha Mountain was three times faster than the outside world. The time Fang Yuan spent in King Quan Inheritance had already caused Spring Autumn Cicada to make some recovery, thus Fang Yuan could only patiently choose the method of bitter cultivation. Just as he was cultivating, there came an unfamiliar voice from outside the cave. Little Beast King, could you come out to have a chat? Fang Yuan walked out of the cave and saw the person clearly, he looked slightly doubtful. So it was Elder Yi Huo. Yi Huo was very handsome, sharp eyes, high bridge nose, and long red hair like it was on fire. He was a fire path goo master who was very famous in southern border. People called him Blazing Inferno, his cultivation was rank 4 peak stage. Yi Huo is one of the five great elders of Shang clan an expert under Shang Yan Fei and was ranked above Light Swordsman Wai Yang. The only one that could command him was Shang Yan Fei, his arrival was surely going to change the power balance of San Cha Mountain. Fang Yuan quickly thought about it and welcomed Yi Huo inside his cave. Little Beast King, my purpose in coming here is simple, it is to invite you to join our Shang clan. Yi Huo entered the cave, but he did not sit and directly expressed his purpose in coming. 
Join your Shang clan? Fang Yuan raised his brows, he could fully sense the swift and decisive nature of Blazing Inferno. Right? Yi Huo nodded, his eyes looking straight at Fang Yuan as he smiled. You and Bai Ningbing have stayed for some time at Shang Clan, you guys surely have deep understanding of our Shang Clan's strength, so I won't say much on it. The main thing is your partner Bai Ningbing has been trapped by the four old timers of Tai Clan for around two months now. As long as you two join Shang Clan, I will immediately set out and rescue Bai Ningbing. His tone was filled with confidence, as if rescuing Bai Ningbing was an easy matter. When he spoke, he was slightly smiling. His handsome face was like a perfect statue, and when he revealed his teeth, it was dazzling like the sun. Many people would feel ashamed when interacting with him. Yi Huo and Wai Yang had a similar background, they both ruled Shang clan battle stage and were absolute geniuses. Among the five great elders of Shang clan, Yi Huo was the most popular and was also publicly recognized as the elder with the highest chance of advancing to rank five. Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with a contemplative light. He was not surprised at Shang clan sending Yi Huo here. Shang clan had been in control of San Cha Mountain for a period of time before, but was later suppressed by Wu clan. And with the appearance of demonic path experts, Shang clan groups found it even more difficult to hold their heads up. Under this situation, Shang clan as a top clan would naturally send an expert to change the situation. In Fang Yuan's previous life memories, Yi Huo was dispatched here by Shang clan. He suppressed Wu Shen Tong and Yi Chong and defeated Kong Rai Tian and Long King Tian, being the ruler of San Cha Mountain for a time. But later, his dominance drove Long King Tian anxious. Long King Tian used blue halo goo and poisoned him. He had no choice but to return to Shang clan city to be treated by Dr. Su Xu. However, this time, Yi Huo came to San Cha Mountain to recruit him. This was beyond Fang Yuan's expectation. Lord Yi Huo, I wonder if this invitation came from Shang clan or it is your own thought. Fang Yuan's gaze flashed and asked. Ha ha ha, of course it is my own thought. Fang Zheng, you created a lot of commotion at Shang clan battle stage and almost became the ruler of battle stage. I have been watching you, you are a genius. If you join Shang clan, it will be greatly beneficial to you. Yi Huo laughed loudly and replied. Fang Yuan smiled as the trace of doubt he had melted away. Sir Yi Huo, from what I know, Shang clan's external elders don't have the authority to recommend talents, right? External elder, this title made Yi Huo slightly furrow his brows. You are right. But if you can become the ruler of the battle stage, you can become an external elder of Shang clan. With your talent, I believe the title of the ruler of battle stage is just a matter of time for you. Fang Yuan could not help but scoff and did not reply. Yi Huo's brows furrowed deeper. This scoff sounded ear-piercing to him. He patiently said, Fang Zheng, I will tell you the truth. Before I came here, Lord Clan Leader made a promise to me. As long as I accomplish great accomplishments at San Cha Mountain and take control of the situation, I will be bestowed a surname when I return to Shang Clan City. At that time, I will no longer be Yi Huo, but Shang Huo. I will become a true elder of Shang Clan and I will have the authority to recommend talents. Eh? So it was like that. Fang Yuan clearly revealed a surprised expression, his gaze flickered, and he sank into contemplation. Mi Huo waited for a long time, but after getting no response from Fang Yuan, his brows furrowed even deeper, and he took the initiative to ask, Have you thought it through? Fang Yuan shook his head. This matter is too significant, I need to consider it properly. Yi Huo's brows relaxed a little. Since that is so, then I will give you three days. I will come here again after three days, I hope to get a satisfactory reply then. All right? Fang Yuan nodded in agreement and accompanied Yi Huo out of the cave. Three days later. You still haven't thought it through? Yi Huo looked at Fang Yuan with some doubts. This is a serious matter, I really need to properly consider it. Fang Yuan answered with a heavy voice. All right, 
I will give you three more days. Fang Zheng, I think highly of you. Another three days later. Lord Yi Huo, I have thought over this matter over and again. I appreciate your good intent, but I still prefer the freedom of the demonic path. Fang Yuan sincerely replied. What? You thought for three days and this is your answer? Yi Huo's tone showed his fury. Lord Yi Huo, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Fang Yuan's gaze was profound and there was severity within his soft words. Yi Huo gritted his teeth and said with a deep voice, Fang Zheng, you need to think it clearly. The four old timers of Tai Clan are not easy opponents. If I don't help out, everything bodes ill for Bai Ningbing. Besides this, Sky Tiger Zhu Sensi whom you killed is Century Boy's goddaughter. Century Boy has been watching you all this while. He is a woodpath goo master at rank 4 upper stage and is a thorny character of demonic path. Eh? So it was like that. Fang Yuan showed hesitation. Then, let me consider it again. Give me ten days of time to think it through. Ten days? Yi Huo immediately wrinkled his brows. Fine. He thought for a while and nodded. This is enough time for you to think everything through clearly. I believe you will make the most sensible choice. But I have to remind you that time cannot be dragged on further. Your woman is in crisis. Anything can happen during this time. Bi Huo considered Bai Ningbing as Fang Yuan's woman, which Fang Yuan felt was quite laughable. Whether Bai Ningbing died or not, it was not an especially important matter to him. Anyway, the poison Vao Gu was already destroyed, and he had also matured, reaching rank 4 initial stage. Saving Bai Ningbing or not, it depended on his will. But if there was no Bai Ningbing, Fang Yuan would become a lone force, and it would definitely create a negative influence on his plans at Sancha Mountain. There is no need to go save Bai Ningbing urgently, I should still focus on cultivating and advance forward. I have already no need for the bone flesh unity goo. As for Bai Ningbing, she can be outside for a while and attract the attention for me. I should take this chance to surpass her. It will be convenient for me to suppress her in future. And with so many eyes watching the situation, those four old foxes of Tai clan absolutely won't move in for the kill. Fang Yuan saw the whole situation clearly. As for Yi Huo's invitation, he he. Ten days later. Lord Yi Huo, thank you for your good intention. These days I have pondered restlessly and from every angle, but I still feel that being free is the best. Fang Yuan wore an earnest expression as he said this. Yi Huo's expression naturally became unsightly. Fang Zheng, you have been doing this over and over again, are you playing with me? Lord Yi Huo, your words are not right. I have always been sincere with you. I understand your mood. But right now, the most important thing is Three Kings' inheritance. There is already not much time left before the next opening of the inheritance. With the mention of the opening of Three Kings' inheritance, Yi Huo could only suppress the anger in his heart. He took a deep look at Fang Yuan and left the cave.